50-year-old Shifa Chivumbi, a resident of Buziga, a Kampala suburb, is a trader woman with several jobs to help her make ends meet. Among several things she does to raise money for her children is poultry farming. This is a project she has run for close to six years. She says it's not an easy job for her, like as many might assume, and Vision 2040, which would mean at least two million shillings monthly for her, is a faraway cry. It is very hard to predict how much money you will invest and the profits you will earn. You just pray to God. Mrs. Chivumbi, who also says that Vision 2040 is long overdue, does not see a possibility of people her age benefiting from the 27-year-old plan. It focuses on our grandchildren mainly. I am old at 50, and if you add 27 years, how old will I be? Other critics claim loopholes in the mission and say the government should return to the drawing board and ensure the needs of the ordinary person are not left out. Let the National Planning Authority tell us realistically what are the projects, which sector is going to, be, to propel the Vision 2040. Why are people doubting that it will be the same do-nothing vision or dream? Need, first of all, a national reconciliation a conference so that we bring our people together. Political analyst Julius Chihumuro believes it's possible for citizens to earn 24 million shillings annually if the government can just work out a strong strategic plan. If the government wants to achieve this vision 240, 2040, it must put politics out of development. They should create direct markets by enristate the cooperative societies that were in the village so that they can be able to, to, to bring direct markets. From, farm, from a farmer to a consumer. The government's Vision 2040 focuses not only on transforming the Ugandan society from a peasant